from Ads, Adseat in Sweden. Please, Thank you. good luck. Thank you. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike Redford. I'm the chairman and uh, head of strategy for uh, Ad Movement. So, have we got a little thingy? Yes, we have. Basically, what we're going to look at is the target segments we've been looking at. We've, uh, for some reason, why is that not automatic? There, sh there should have been a video that coming up on the auto starting. We have a little technical problem, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, here we go. Let's go back a slide. Okay, I understand we have a technical problem with the video. We're going to have right, to do again. without, if I understand correctly. Try again. Okay, we'll go for it. Um, our initial market is uh, looking at, at disabled people, and without the video, it looks a bit empty. <laughs> uh, so we'll go to the next one, so hopefully the video starts on that one. Um, we've got two target areas. One is the disabled, which is where the original design came from. So we were actually targeting uh, people who had wheelchairs or walking frames. What we looked at was how could we actually create a seat that actually made it easy for handicapped people. Marit Sundin, who's the innovator of the product, is actually demonstrating it here. Um, what we wanted to make sure was that it was able to go over sand, you could use it in cobblestones, you could go anywhere with it. It was easy to use, it was mobile, it was flexible. And the advantage of it is the size of its footprint as well. It's extremely small and flexible. Now our revenue model is based on sales of ad seats, spare parts, and also financial services, including hire, leasing, and insurances. Spare parts, we've had the product since 2012, and we've actually seen our servicing agreements already starting to come through. Our advantage of that seat is a reduced footprint, it's no larger than the wheelchair. It actually means there's less demand on the individual, and we're actually going to be doing some work with a professor from Stanford who will actually be looking at some of the issues we've got as far as actually mobility and in the core. Of course, this product is a reduced carbon footprint. Our market is really over, I'm seeing the time here, but I think we've got a little bit more time. Um, our initial market is, we've been looking at Scandinavia to start with, we've actually sold our product in USA and Germany, and we've actually got some product out in some parts of Holland as well. Uh, next place is China, UAE. One of our clients in the USA said he would thought it fantastic with the product. He could actually go to Central Park and go on grassland. He's never been into the Central Park, he's never been on the grass before. And that changed the whole of it. And our second market, of course, is the aging population. 20% of the population in Europe is already over the 65. That will go to 29% by 2050. The team is a matrix team. You talk about a split, male, female. Around 50% of our team are female. Half the team are engineers. Half the team is sales. Half the team is product development. We've got a mixture of team, mixture of ages, from 26-year-olds right through to me, the older one in the team. And what part of it is that we also want that flexibility and everybody looking in a different way. Well, with another nice video if it had been working. <laughs> um, basically, what we're looking for is we're looking for some more money. Money's always good. We've actually done this with 400,000 euros, and we've actually been selling across the globe, and the team are here. We plan to raise more funds, and it's very useful to find out a little bit about the idea of uh, some more money coming available from the EU. We'd like that. But also, we need contacts. We need help with contacts. It's really important for us. Vehicle regulators, banks and insurance companies, because we need to arrange first personal finance. Because a lot of people actually don't get any subsidy. They actually have to pay out their own pocket. The family pays for this, because it changes people's lives. And finally, I'm going to show, share a letter that we actually had from one of our clients. I would like to inform you that I sold my ad seat. It's the most precious belonging, my ad seat. I'm not able to use it anymore. This guy had MS for four years, and eventually he's had to sell it. But he actually thanked us. And that, to me, is what this is all about. And as I said in one of my presentations before, not this evening, 
is if you don't cry working for my company, don't come and work for my company, because this is an emotional product. This changes people's lives. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. Please do stay here, because I Please do stay here, because maybe one of our judges would like to ask a question. Mm, yes? Please, Sheila. Is it on? Can we please turn on the mic? Technicians, give us a second. Give us a second. No, it's the mic that was here. Please turn it on. Yeah, no, I think now we could. Number three. Ah, yes, you're, you're I'm getting here. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about your IP position? The intellectual property is basically we've got variable height on the seat and we've actually the way we actually glide it. Uh, the engines itself, we use various gyros from different companies so we can put our seat on different platforms. Uh, we took the view that there are gyro technologies out there that we can use. We're, we don't need to develop those. What we need to do is make sure that the seat is actually correct and works properly and that handicapped people and older people can use it with ease. So our IP sits much more in that space rather than the actual underlying gyros. Okay, thank you very much. You can take your seat and you can now you. vote. Can we have Slido, the question on the stage, on the, on the screen, please? Okay, and that's your chance. I re it remind you that this is just a recommendation, but we will take note of all the notes, uh, all the votes that you gave during the evening. We're gonna let it, we're gonna let you vote for a few minutes and here are the results. Okay, I would say it's pretty good for the first one especially considering that we had a glitch with a video. Yeah, you're still voting. Try not to be influenced by what you see on stage. Yeah, okay. It's strange in the nine is low between the eight and the 10. All right, I think we have a pretty good idea of how you feel about the first one. We're between seven and eight. It's not an average, it's the most common grade, obviously. All right. I think, are we ready in the back, the technician, for the next uh, pitch?